So the coral trial um, is the first phase two study of abiraterone in a recurrent ovarian, fallopian tube and primary peritoneal cancer. So there is an urgent need to improve and develop smarter treatments for women with recurrent ovarian cancer. So I'll tell you a little bit about the rationale here. The androgen receptor has been reported to be expressed in between 27 and 90 percent of epithelial ovarian cancer. And it's also been shown in preclinical studies that androgens can stimulate ovarian ca cancer cell line proliferation and that can be inhibited by anti-androgen approaches. However, clinically, in clinical trials so far, over the years in the 1990s, for example, with drugs such as bicalutamide, the anti-androgen approach has been modest in terms of efficacy. However, there's been newer, with newer emerging treatments, there is a rationale to further evaluate targeting the androgen receptor pathway for women with recurrent ovarian cancer. So one such drug is a drug called abiraterone, and this is a CYP17 inhibitor, which works by um, inhibiting this enzyme, which then results in the downstream effect of reducing androgen and estrogen levels. Well, I think that there's, there, there is a host of, in, in my view, there is a, there is a lot of um, promising agents in development, but not all the drugs um, are right for all the patients. So we've already heard at this Congress the success of drugs called PARP inhibitors. Uh, we heard about niraparib in the phase three setting and also rucaparib uh, in the aerial two stat study. And these are very promising approaches for a group of patients. Um, the coral study looked at abiraterone in ovarian cancer um, and this was in an unselected population but also had the ability to look at um, the responses and clinical benefit in patients that had the androgen receptor. The primary endpoint was objective response rate according to RESIST, which is a measure of radiological response, but also CA125, which is the tumour marker for patients with ovarian cancer. So in this study, um, there was one out of 42 patients that responded to abiraterone and that patient had androgen receptor positive disease. Now based on the um, minimal um, response rate that we saw in this study, the study did not proceed to the next phase. However, what was very important is that some patients derived um, uh, disease stabilization for longer periods. So for example, 26% of patients had um, a clinical benefit rate, so that means response or disease stabilization at 12 weeks. And 14% had more prolonged benefit at 24 weeks. I think what we've learned from this study is that although the response rate was, was low, some patients, there may be a signal that some patients may be benefiting from this approach. And we need to understand more about those patients. The patient that did respond had a rare form of ovarian cancer called low-grade serous ovarian cancer where treatment options are limited and in fact I have a patient that has been on treatment since December 2014 who again has that same histological subtype. So these are anecdotal cases, this is early, early signs potentially of benefit in, a, in, a, in, in certain groups of patients. So what we need to do next is understand more about the biology of the androgen receptor and the significance of this receptor in ovarian cancer. And it's very important that we do the appropriate scientific and clinical studies to look, look further into this. There is an ongoing study of another androgen receptor targeted drug called enzalutamide um, with a group from Memorial Sloan Kettering and that is ongoing and it'll be very interesting to see the results from that study and see what we can learn. I think it's, it's difficult and it would be um, wrong to prematurely dismiss targeting anti-antigen approaches with these newer agents in ovarian cancer um, and this study has shed light on that topic. Well, there are there, there are already um, for patients with low-grade serous ovarian cancer. That's a prime example of how we've collaborated internationally. And there's a study called the Milo study, which is an international collaborative effort, which we were involved in, um, specifically in women with low-grade serous histology, with a drug called a MEK inhibitor. And there are other studies, for example, the the Log study, again an international collaborative effort for women with low-grade serous ovarian cancer. So I think it's really important 
that we work internationally, in particular for patients with rare cancers. And as I said, with regards to the androgen um, approaches, the anti-androgen approaches, we'd be very interested to see um, the results with the, with the enzalutamide study from the um, US group.